Hey guys, nowadays there's a few ways to factory restart your Mac, well, factory reset. And if you have an Intel Mac, what you guys want to do is hold on to Command R before you turn it on. And once you turn it on, then let go of it. So once you see an Apple logo and a loading bar, I should say, then you let go. Before that, do not let go of Command R. So right now, just make sure it's shut down. Then turn it on, you should see an Apple logo. And after a little bit, you should see a loading bar, but just keep holding on to that command R. And I just wanna let you know that within the Mac OS itself, there is an option to erase your Mac, but that option makes everything a little bit more tricky for some reason. It's just not working that well. So this is the best way to actually factory restart your Mac, factory restore, factory reset, whatever you wanna call it. I also want to note that if you have a slightly older Mac, this will take longer. So always wait until you see that loading bar. So right now I finally see that loading bar down here below. So I'm going to let go of Command R. And keep in mind that whenever people tell me that this doesn't work, it just means they didn't hold on to Command R long enough. All right, so after a bit, you should see something like so. Don't have anything hooked up to your Mac at this point in time. No external hard drives, nothing like that. Keep in mind that this video will be erasing your entire Mac. So that means you will be deleting everything within it, which includes the Apple ID. Does that mean you're gonna lose your Apple ID if your Apple ID is here? No, no, that just means that we're deleting it from the Mac itself. You can still access your Apple ID from your iPhone, iPad, or whatever you guys have. Anyways, right now, again, this will be deleting pictures, everything from your Mac. So you're gonna be safe if you wanna return this or go ahead and sell it. Go to Disk Utility, that's the first step. Press Continue. What we're gonna do is select Internal, and then from here, let me just show you exactly what we're doing. We're gonna select this first part, okay? Then from here, you're gonna select Erase. And this part's pretty important. You should select this. However, a lot of people don't have this option with older Macs, so just choose Journaled, and you should be okay. For others that have a different HD, then this is the format that you want to go for, press erase. This will be deleting everything from within our internal hard drive. So everything, everything, pictures, any personal information. And after this step's done, we're going to reinstall the Mac OS on our Mac. And there we go. We're going to have a fresh new Mac. So it's going to start like it was from new. You're going to have to set up your language, everything like you had to do when it was brand new. So that's a factory reset, factory restore of your Mac. All right, so at this point, we can just click on done, close this up, it's on the left-hand side, and then reinstall the Mac OS. And you have to do this. So let's go on and continue on, continue. And here we go, we're gonna reinstall this, and it's gonna be like it was before when it was brand new. Oh, and there's something I forgot to show you guys, and it's very important. Right now, it should say that you have everything Pretty much free so i have three terabytes so i have three terabytes free use should be only some kilobytes and that's it other volumes nine gigs that's fine right now we're gonna close this like i already showed you guys I'm going to reinstall mac os and here we go continue on all right the next screen you should see something like this just agree to it agree once again we're gonna select this hd continue on and it's gonna install the mac os right here this could take a little bit. It does depend on your internet speed, really. So for some of you, it might say two hours, like for me, but it's not actually two hours. It's just gonna take a couple minutes. But again, it does depend on your internet speed. If this is taking way too long for you guys, just maybe hook up your Mac to your router, use an ethernet cable, and that should help you with your internet speed. Other than that, all you guys have to do is just wait at this point in time. So after a bit, you should see a screen like so. This is the next screen again, and this one's saying about 28 minutes, 26 minutes. So next up, you should have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar again, and at this point in time, you could set it up again. You can use another app ID. You can use your same app ID and just set it up from scratch. You can even transfer stuff over from another Mac here. You can do anything you want. If you're going to sell this or if you're going to go ahead and return it, well, if you're going to return it right now, just press the power button and then just fully shut it down. Or if you're going to sell this, sometimes it's good to set it up without an app ID. So that's something you can do. Just set it up without an app ID. So you don't have to import any of your personal information in order to set this up and then sell it. So that person, whoever's buying it, has a chance to test it out before 
But as of this video, we are done. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.